And welcome to your Gold Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, the 25th of May 2023. Fantastic to see you here and let's have a look at what's come across the news right now. Weaker session overnight on Wall Street again. No tangible progress on the debt ceiling negotiations, although talks are ongoing. This has moved up another level with the Fitch Rating Agency. Now has US AAA rating on watch. The Fed minutes did nothing to lift market mood at all, which reiterated some of the narrative that's been coming out over the mouths of some of the Fed members over the last couple of weeks. One positive bright note was NVIDIA posted earnings. Very positive response to those with a significant move in price in after hours trading. Consequently, US futures are mixed in Asia, the Nasdaq's outperforming because of that NVIDIA result. Asian markets are almost Asian markets are also mixed. The ASX is dramatically underperforming in Asia, down about 0.6%, whereas other indices are not far away from or in positive territory. European futures are pointing to a cautious open look slightly higher at this stage, and the VIX moved to two-week highs on that news of, of Fitch Rating Agency action. US dollar index continues to move higher again yesterday. It's now breached its 200 EMA, which is really critical. Gold dropped, not surprisingly, but held on that support that it has tested a couple of times over the last few days. It is neutral so far today in Asia. Copper also dropped and is now at seven month lows, whereas oil once again was the outperforming commodity, breaching resistance of the short term range that it's been trading in for a couple of weeks. Cryptos are looking precarious as well. Bitcoin has breached the support level and is testing 26,000 in Asia this morning. And it is a big day today, just to add to everything else, German consumer confidence in GDP out this afternoon with the US weekly jobs, preliminary GDP and some housing data out. All of those bigger numbers have market moving potential, but of course, debt ceiling negotiations will remain the major story of the day until it's resolved, essentially. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that are looking interesting. And we're going to start by looking at the US. Yeah, we'll put it on the four hour chart just so you can see the price action. This toyed with resistance for a couple of days here around this 138.80 level, uh, breached it yesterday. And if we put it on the daily chart, you can see the significance of this move, which really has been a key price level with 139 back in November and October 2022 and back as far as July 2022. In terms of where this could go, well, theoretically, over the next few days, it could breach 140. That's very much on the cards. Uh, you can see there we may get a pause around this 140.50 level if this buy momentum continues. But this is certainly a key price point. And even on the hourly chart, you can see there we've had a couple of retracements along the way, but this is most definitely a trend continuation on the asx you can't look beyond tech stocks really they are the only sector up this morning t and e which was a chart of the day a couple of days ago has continued to move higher uh, you can see there we breached this key level at around about 1535 at the start of the week and we've just continued upwards from there in terms of where this could go well it's difficult to judge because this is all-time highs if we take the distance of the last range which was around about one dollar fifty then perhaps a move up to seventeen dollars is on the cards in the very short term and perhaps on from there this is a company well placed in the cloud technology space trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now